Hey guys, today I am going to talk about the secret that Alpha Investment does not want you to know. If you want to become like Alpha Investment, you cannot be a Timmy. Now let's go ahead and let's look at Alpha Investment and what he has done. He always buys reserveless Magic the Gathering collections. He's always buying collections. And why is that? Collections have very good margins, especially the ones that he buys from his Patreons for 10 cents on the dollar. But even if you were to go out on Facebook or Craigslist to buy a collection, let's say the collection is $1,000, you can probably negotiate for $500, $400, depends on what's in the collection, of course, right? But there's negotiation, there's a little wiggle room, and there is margin, there is margin, which is very important to know. So what people are not doing is they're not buying boxes from Amazon to hold sealed and then trying to sell them back, right? That would be basically what the Timmies are doing. So do what Alpha Investment does, not what he tells you to do. Alpha Investment will tell you, hey, buy my Ravnica Remastered Collector's Edition you guys can all buy two cases of it because it's a great investment opportunity to crack some open, pull some of these amazing shock lands that will be decimated in price very soon. And let's all go to the moon together, my friends. No, he's not doing that. He is selling his position and returned to Ravnica. He's buying it cheap, selling it to you, essentially flipping it for a profit. That means long term, he doesn't believe in the product. Otherwise, he would hold the product, right? So if there was a product that he loved, let's say Reserve List, Arabian Nights, right? You'll never see him sell that. When is the last time he's had a Patreon where he's selling you old boxes? Never. I've seen all the emails and I've never seen it where he's trying to sell you a, a position or an investment opportunity in dual lands, reserve lists, and any of these valuable, valuable things that he is constantly buying and hoarding. So on one hand, MetaZoo is a very good instance. He's only selling MetaZoo. He has never bought a single MetaZoo collection from somebody online. He's been offered hundreds, if not thousands, of really affordable MetaZoo collections, but he's no interest in buying them. He's only interested in selling. So you as a Timmy should not listen to his advice. You should figure out what he's doing. What he's doing has been the same this entire time. He's been buying the reserve list on Magic the Gathering specifically. He's buying, 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 right? When is the last time that you saw him buy a Meta Zoo collection? When is the last time you saw him buy a Flesh and Blood collection? He, I think he did once or twice before, but definitely not recently. When is the last time you saw any of this stuff? And the answer is never. It is never being done, right? He is constantly selling MetaZoo, selling Flesh and Blood, selling Weiss Swartz. He, he's never bought a Weiss Swartz collection of singles and SPs. I'm sure he's been offered some pretty crazy ones like I have been offered. Do as he, do as he does, not as he says. Because that's how he makes money. How does he make money? How does he have all this money to invest in the reserve list? Well, he makes the money from the Timmies selling you the products that he deems as garbage. Look at how he has treated MetaZoo. It went from MetaZoo being a viable investment to, oh, I never told anyone. I never told anyone that MetaZoo was investable. No one thought it was investable, right, guys? You know who he, Rudy sounds a lot like? He sounds a lot like the BBCE guy for the Logan Paul rap, where it's a fake case of Pokemon cards. They went to this authenticator who was paid very well, 
and he wrapped it in his little company paper, right? And then it turned out that it was fake, that there was G.I. Joe cards. And he said, well, guys, we all got duped, right? Everybody got duped? Everyone? Me? That <laughs> sounds the same. I, and it's the same. People are going to realize really soon, and they already know because they're very angry. Like, I have emails expressing, like, absolute hatred for this guy. Like, and I'm even shocked, and I don't want to read these emails, but I'm even shocked. But that's what, I guess that's what happens when you mess with people's money, right? Like, that's what happens. Um, it's sad. Um, it, it, it really, truly is sad that people have lost life savings people have lost money they meant to go on vacation people have lost money where they could have spent it on hospital bills or retirement you know people lost money on these investments that rudy has said and i can only imagine if i'm receiving these emails about rudy what type of emails rudy is actually receiving himself and these people have real names. They're not hiding themselves. They're they're not afraid. Right? And it's going to get worse and worse. It, it's I you know, I'm almost a little scared for Rude. I don't like Alpha Investments at all, but I'm almost a little scared for him. Because like I said, when you mess with somebody's money, some people are not stable people out there. Um, my store has never catered to any regular customers. It's just my friends. I don't want to sell to a random stranger. I don't. There, um, and we, I always sell to my friends at buy list or very, very close to it. When a collection comes in, I say, do you want it? And they take it. Like People do get very upset about money and collectibles, especially when you make them look like a fool. And when Rudy is saying that investment in MetaZoo is he never told anyone that and he never said it. Well, people are very angry because he makes them look like a fool. Right. And that's what I don't understand about Rudy. He is clearly a good businessman. He must understand this. That all it takes is, you know, like like I said, um, the tides are turning. People are realizing what I said about Rudy for years now that and now they're saying this themselves right because because they're right I'm right now he has no concern about the community he has no concern about the player base he only, only concerned about Rudy he's only concerned about himself and a individual like this is no different in my opinion than mana source and they will come and go and I think his time is up. His views are down. His engagement is down. His numbers are down. Everything is down. Rudy made these Timmies look like a fool. Not every Timmy is going to be happy about that. Not every Timmy has the money to lose. It's a very dangerous thing that he's doing. And I don't think he knows why. It's, I, I think he's having some emails now. But I don't think he actually still understands why it's so dangerous.